Hello, you got Captain Kirk 42 here for another box breaking video. This one will be 2018 Panini Football, a small blaster box of 11 packs, 8 packs per card, 8, eight cards per pack, excuse me. And it says 88 cards per pack. And according to the box, find one memorabilia card per box on average. So, they're telling us there's going to be at least one memorabilia card, which means a game used piece or something from the jersey or something from whatever they decide to cut up. Which, those are things that I don't particularly like myself, but other people just revel in that sort of stuff. So need to open up the plastic, which I might need a little bit of help with. I'll try to do it without the help of dangerous sharp objects, but you never know. And hopefully this video is a little brighter than my last video. Part of that was one of the lights in another room that gives a little bit of ambient light I, I didn't have on. Plus I had messed up with the settings before trying to say, oh, how, how bright can I get this? But anyway, so this is a blaster-sized box of Panini football. Get on out of there. So we should have eight not eight, eleven. We should have eleven packs. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a couple of these back. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. There's a little bit of air in these last three, so it's kind of hard to tell. This first pack feels a little thick, but it's kind of hard to tell. And these last couple of packs have some air, especially this one has a little bit of air and a little bit of thickness, so. We shall see what happens as we open these up. Pack one of 11 packs. And for some reason, they have a little bit of air packed inside. I think maybe another deterrent to try to keep people from trying to get hits. And I will get rid of the... The back has one of these code card things or... Whatever, I don't use them. I don't care about them. I usually just use them for filler or just throw them in recycling. And here's what the base card looks like. This Deshaun Watson of the Texans. And we have Adam Thielen of the Vikings. Followed by, I have to rewrite... Vernon Davis and some of these other cards. Vernon Davis of my Redskins. Jacoby Brissett of the Colts. <clears throat> Show you what the backs of these cards look like. Then we have a rookie card for Josh Allen, quarterback for the Bills, followed by Marquis Lee of the Jaguars, Mark Ingram of the Saints, and our final card is Will Fuller for the Texans. And that should have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight cards there for pack one. Pack moving on to pack two. I don't have to get rid of a fill card. We've got Marquise Ponce of the Steelers, Jimmy Graham for the Packers, and then we have some upside down dudes we have to straighten up. Andre Jackson for the Titans, Miles Garrett for the Browns, Nathan Peterman for the Bills. Then we have a human highlight reel card 
of David Johnson of the Cardinals. So that's, I guess all they do is just put little film type looking feature background graphics to a picture and make it something special. That's an interesting insert card. I'm going to call it an insert card because they call it human highlight reel. Then we have Laramie Tunsil for the Dolphins. And our last card is AJ Green for the Bengals. Pack number three. Now, as I said, this is another pack that has a little bit of air in it. And it has one of these little Panini Super Bowl reporter cards, which I think are just filler things, and most people just kind of ignore. But they do have codes on them for people who like to do things online. Uh, Jay Ash, excuse me, Alshon Jeffrey of the Eagles, and Emmanuel Sanders of the Broncos, Evan Ingram of the Giants, Tarek Cohen of the Bears, followed by Amari Cooper of the Raiders. Then we have an insert card for All Pro Julio Jones of the Falcons. That's a pretty neat way to just show the All-Pro All-Stars. And then Melvin Ingram of the Chargers, now of Los Angeles. That's going to be difficult for me to say and think about because when I think of the Chargers, I always think San Diego. So LA was like LA Raiders. No, Oakland is for the Raiders. And then our final card is Terrell Suggs, longtime Baltimore Raven. Pack number four. And I'm sort of liking the little old school design that this has. It doesn't have the team logo on the front, which I like having team logos, but at least it's not all weird looking frame. I like I like framed cards, but not uh, some of the past Panini frames have been looking really strange. But anyway, continuing on, Ezekiel Elliott of the Cowboys, followed by Patrick Chung of the Patriots, and Dion Jones of the Falcons, followed by Robbie Anderson of the Jets, Harrison Smith of the Vikings then we have Aaron Donald of the Rams longtime Arizona Cardinal Larry Fitzgerald and our last card is Marquise Goodwin of the 49ers pack number five Another one of these kids reporter cards. And we have Jake Butt, no butt jokes, of the Broncos. And Tyler Lockett of the Seahawks. Oh, almost grabbed two cards there. Marlon Mack of the Colts. And even though this is my, my home team, Redskins, it's still hard for me to pronounce his name, Semiji Perine. Not quite sure exactly how to pronounce Semiji. Semiji, Semiji. Then we have Garrett Blunt of the Eagles. Although it says Detroit Lions, so he was recently traded. The front. Oh yes, the front does say he signed with the Lions on March 16th. So this is one of these transition cards where it's technically a Lions card, but he's being shown this old Eagles uniform. Some people call it an Eagles card, some people 
Some people call it an Eagles card because he's wearing the Eagles uniform. Other people call it a Lions card because it's officially the Lions. And on checklists, it will be officially Lions. Then we have a pretty neat looking insert, Pillars of Excellence, Odell Beckham Jr. of the Giants. And the back has the same little picture of him. Followed by D.D. Westbrook of the Jags. And our last card of the pack is Ted. Sorry about the placement of my hand. I'm not really playing to the camera right now. I'm just looking at the cards as I pull them. The, like I said, Ten Gwyn Jr. Jin Jr. of the Saints. Moving on to pack number six. And I try to remember to open the pack on camera instead of by camera or just off camera. Like, it's, like I said a few videos ago, it's been a while since I've done videos, so I'm trying to improve my video ship. Xavier Rhodes of the Vikings, followed by Martavius Bryant of the Steelers, and Devontae Adams, Packers. I haven't perfected that technique yet, but Taewon Taylor of the Titans, David Njuki of the Browns, and then why does this card say Panini at the very top? Josh Dotson of the Redskins, and I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what the deal is with this panini at the top. Maybe it's only special. And I'm going to have to battle my washing machine there as my clothes. It's a weekend and I'm doing laundry. And apparently the washing machine is unbalanced. So I'll probably have that to deal with for a bit. So hopefully... It will stop soon and won't get much louder. DeAndre Hopkins of the Texans, followed by Kiko Alonso of the Dolphins. Oh boy, and my, my video system is set up, or I should say the video software is set up so that if I stop recording, it, and then when I start recording again, it's going to make it a new video, so I can't do that. So I'm going to have to battle with the laundry machine. Arg! Bad timing on my part. Like I said, this is seven. Pack number seven. We have one of these kids reporter things with the video code, which I didn't have one there long enough for people to pick up, so who cares? Going right along, Ronald Darby, or Ron, I'm sure he probably goes by Ron Darby of the Eagles. And this is an Eagles card, not a Lions card. Then we have Bradley Roby of the Broncos, followed by Zay Jones of the Bills. Zay, interesting name, Zay. Then Kyle Long of the Bears, Troy Fumagalli of the Broncos in his Wisconsin, I guess University of Wisconsin uniform. So this is a rookie, of course a rookie card, it says there up on the front corner. The Wisconsin Badgers is what he's pictured in. So, but of course, since this is a professional card, he's going to be going into the Broncos because that's what he's listed as. But people who are alum of that particular school might be chasing him. Who knows? Carlos Dunlap of the Bengals. And then Hunter Henry of the Chargers. And we finish off this particular pack with Brandon Williams of the Ravens. 
and pack number eight. Oliver Vernon of the Giants. Followed by a division rival, Ryan Switzer of the Cowboys. Then we have Bruce Irvin, Raiders. Vic Beasley Jr. of the Falcons. Jamal Adams of the Jets. Chandler Jones of the Cardinals. Deshaun Jackson, previously of Redskins, previously of Eagles, but now with the Buccaneers. And the last card is pack number eight, Heeson Reddick of the Reddick. Yeah. Hassan Reddick of the Cardinals. That was pack number nine? No, number eight. This is pack number nine. Feels thick. One of the first, one of the last three to be pack number nine. Feels thick. And like I said, had a little bit of air. And the other two packs after it felt kind of thick, but with air. Of course, we have this part, reporter card. And let us start things off with Dante Hightower of the Patriots, followed by Tory Smith of the Eagles. Oh no, wait a minute, he's of the Panthers. Wearing an Eagles wearing an Eagles jersey, but he's of the Carolina Panthers because he had signed signed by Panthers on March 14th, 1918. 2018, excuse me. <laughs> Chris Carson of the Seahawks, followed by Sammy Watkins of the Chiefs, and we've got Josh Dotson of the Redskins, and let me double check. This is a regular version, and I think earlier I had said I had found the for some reason there was a panini. Hold on. For some reason, and I'm trying to find this card in my stack that I just recently opened up. Yeah, this this was the card I picked earlier on the top. It says panini, and this is the card I just picked, just opened up and pulled and it doesn't have the panini there up the top so this is the regular base and this is some sort of panini special which I'm not sure how they determine what's what or what they call it in the checklists but that's that and we do have some more cards we've got a light speed Ezekiel Elliott of the Cowboys a team that I am not fond of and this one is just a regular insert, no numbered insert, but it is pretty neat. It's got this foil flashy stuff on the side, I guess to indicate that he's being speedy at light speed. Then we have Matt Breida of the 49ers, and the last card of the pack is TJ Yeldon of the Jaguars. Now we move on to pack number 10. And this just feels like a regular pack. It doesn't feel like anything special. And I don't see any insert kids thing card. We got Kirk Cousins of the Vikings. I wish he was still on the Redskins, but this year if he had been on the Redskins, he would have a bro broken leg. Because they're the dead shin, the red red shins this year. Levon Bell of the Steelers, followed by Matt 
Pratter, the kicker for the Lions. Eric Decker of the Titans. Jordan Lastly of the Ravens. Kind of difficult to see what his jersey uniform was. This one feel oh this one's a panini and also a panini. This one has a texture to it. Uh, the other panini card I didn't think have any sort of special texture to it. But this one has what feels like a matte finish to it. So I'm thinking I know what the deal is. It's supposed to be a matte finished card. And one of the going back through the one of the rookie cards has a matte feel finish to it. No, this Redskins Panini card has feels like it's got regular the regular gloss. But this definitely has a textured matte finish to it. Even on the back, it feels a little textured. So I'm wondering whether that's supposed to be a big deal. All these inserts and, not inserts, parallels and bizarro cards. Hard to keep track and how to, can't, very hard to checklist them too. Okay, moving on, Alvin Kamara of the Saints. Followed by Mike Evans of the Buccaneers. And we finished this pack with the Xavier Howard of the Dolphins. And we move on to our last pack, which does feel a little thicker. And according to the box, we're supposed to have, on average, one memorabilia card. So this may be our hit pack, if we get any at all. It's not guaranteed, and they say on average. So, do we hit the average or not? We have one of these kid reporter things. So, who, probably not. But, looking at the side here, it does look like we've got uneven something or other, so we probably do have something. So, I am going to... That feels like it. So... Andy Dalton of the Bron of Broncos. I'm seeing the B and thinking something different. The Bengals. Joey Bassa of the Ch Chargers. And ha ha, Clinton Dix, who is now on the Redskins, but he's a, here as a Packer. What a name, ha ha. How did you get named Ha Ha and apparently that's his real name his parents bizarre jokers I guess Zach Ertz of the Eagles Corey Coleman of the Browns Jordan Pyre the Bills T.Y. Hilton of the Colts and we are down to what our hit is and it is a Knights of the Round Michael Gallup for the Cowboys oh boy what a team to have Knights of the Round special card a relic material memorabilia card was it what they call it like I said, Michael Gallup of the Cowboys, and it is a solid all blue, their dark blue patch from a uniform. Supposedly game used. Nowadays, who knows what it is. Sometimes it's just of what they call event used, which means they put on the uniform, pose for pictures, and that's it. And this on the back, it says the enclosed player worn material is guaranteed. Player warned player you know player player warned so it's not they don't call them game used anymore like they did 20 years ago when they first introduced them it's player worn which yeah okay the player wore it but sometimes it's because the player wore it for some sort of special event so there you have it there's the memorabilia card 
that is an on average one per pack and since my laundry is acting up again I'm going to ha and I finish up the pack the box the the blaster box that's it for this video see you later